Well, after a rainy start to the spring, high school sporting teams are finally back outside competing. Yeah, the games may have resumed, but the weather still is not cooperating a whole lot. And so now players and fans have to deal with some unseasonably cold temperatures, at least for now. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has the story. Spring snowstorms and April showers have finally moved out of the way, getting these high school players back on the field. There's been a lot of games that have been canceled. The fields just were too wet and we weren't able to play all of our games. But Mother Nature is throwing another curveball. Mittens and I have a scarf and we have three layers on and we're all freezing and we have our boots on. So we wish it were a lot nicer. Notre Dame's baseball and soccer teams competed at home against Bayport. All the while, fans were bundled up from head to toe. This isn't weather they expected for early May. Usually it's um, upper 60s, 70s. Sometimes we'll even be coming in shorts this time of year. You're actually in, in football weather gear right now. It's uh, uh, cold and windy. Huddled together on ice-cold bleachers, the fans do what they can to stay warm. Gloves and uh, blankets and a winter jacket and I have on fleece underneath. The concession stands are even selling hot cocoa to help people warm up. But these fans say they aren't the only ones feeling the bite of the cool weather. I think it affects the players and how they play. But with no control over conditions, <laughs> these fans say they just have to brave the cold, enjoy the game, and support their team. I think, you know, all the parents and, uh, are going to come out here to watch their kids play no matter what the weather. In Green Bay, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. However, because of all the rain, there are some area baseball and softball teams that are going to have to make up almost two weeks worth of games before postseason play can begin in just a few weeks.